Okay, I think I got everything I need for this video. This review is going to be for the American Chicken Coop version 1 and American Hayloft. Both of them submitted by DYMA123. I'm going to be using some mods that I've already used before. This is the Auto Low Egg Palette that was submitted by Thomas. The um, stuff that we're going to be using. Here is the large chicken coop. It holds 400 chicken. It's $4 a day. And the one that comes in the game is exactly the same. And I'll show you the size difference right quick. Okay, so both chicken coops are exactly the same size. So, no difference there as well. The Mainly the difference is a tick bit less in cost and the quality of the visual. This one here is just a yard. It's lacking really anything at all for the chickens to live in. This one here is more beautiful, I'm not going to say. The other one is in silos. And this is it. It's 25000 for the hayloft and $40 a day. I was 250000 liters. And we'll get started as soon as I get all this stuff taken over to the site. So I'll be right there. Okay, I'm back and got everything ready to go. It looks like uh, the barn that we discussed is going to be in this is a hay loft and it accepts hay or straw. I tried to give it grass, but it wouldn't let me. But you know, it never said anything about grass. But as you can see, it is. Uh, where you can dump straw so we're going to do that now got this little bit in there Let's see if I can get the trigger come back up there okay and so there's a trigger for filling so it's a and it does work well so you can see it counting up didn't take long at all because I didn't put much in there it's a beautiful barn it's just beautiful storage I absolutely love this I like the vines and everything climbing up and the barn just kind of half there and not there the uh, chickens um, there is no triggers on the outside it's a good looking fence it's a good looking old barn just like the other uh, does have a little lot but it's on the inside the doors do open so you close it open and close quite quickly at that your trigger for your animal dialogue is here of course close gate and your eggs goes here it is a little bit tight to come in here and clean this up I'm using this along with the tractor uh, to be more logical and uh, the way the game you might most purists won't play coming here with the skid loader <coughs> sorry still sick uh, but anyway you come in here and get your crates and you can load them on a trailer here or you can bring them outside and load them on a trailer here or you can use these egg pallet mods to put them in so that way you don't you know lose them everywhere the um, mods that I've been using in this video of course is the tow master skid steer I love this thing over in the pallets the egg pallet this is the 2.0 version the 1.0 don't work but this one here works really well um, Oh yeah, 
and also been using in miscellaneous I use the food chicken food station to get chicken feed and stuff just for the purpose of the video because I didn't have a didn't want to go through the doing the fields and everything just to get this in and do a mod review and other than that let me see it was just a regular loading wagon stuff of course we couldn't use it but I used this right here to get me some straw the reason why I chose that is because one of the people said to use the Fort Bell uh, to pick up pallets and stuff and I actually love it so but I did that to use it to make the straws for the animals and also use it as loading forklift pallets so it works really well like that but anyway they both look beautifully together it's they complement each other that's why I did the mod review together they are identically the same and I think on a farm these are just absolutely beautiful so I hope you enjoy give me a like uh, subscribe to my channel if you don't want the notifications just turn notifications off and um, hope you all enjoy the mod review these are two very good mods and I uh, hope you ever hope you all enjoy them